So I got some great celebrity news. So get in here. We're about to get right to it. The Grammy and Film Award winning actor and rapper Ludacris is known for his Southern style rap and great films like Fast and the Furious and Crash. He did Fast and the Furious alongside Tyrese Gibson and the rest of the cast. He also starred in the adorable and hilarious cartoon Commerce World with Asia Bryant. Luda is also the go-to artist that when people want a hot 16 on the album because his, his raps are fire, he spit fire. He has also... He has flavor and has been in the entertainment business since 1998. He also has hot content on Jamie Foxx's unpredictable album called Born Bed. Luda also um has a hit song called Yeah with Usher. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> we love that song. And he is also a private pilot, and many people don't know that. And he's probably on the aircraft singing, different area codes, different area codes. Ah, God. <laughs> That's dope. We love that song. And wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Comedian Apion Crockett is probably paying accolades and boosting Ludacris by busting out in the middle of the church going, Luda! <laughs> Pass the collection print. Luda! Go up and get prayed for. Luda! Anyway, Atheon is funny and Luda Chris is dope with his film and his rap. So shout out to them. Also, he started out with his label Disturbing the Peace and then he left to Def Jam Records and is now on Universal. Go Luda! So Luda was also close friends with one of my favorite singers, Aaliyah. And he, he worked with Timbaland and Genuine and Missy Yellett, who are dope as well. So we love them. Do your thing. And he made lots of hit records with them together. We love you, Luda. Keep doing your thing. I hope to work with you one day and help Aaliyah's legacy live on with you all as well. All right. But, you know, I got stuff in the work right, works right now, so we'll see where it lands and what happens. In other news, the beautiful Grammy Award winning singer, writer, and actress Janet Jackson is known for being able to sing and dance with high energy. And she is the queen of R&B, while others may take the crown for kings and queens of R&B and hip-hop, Janet and her brother Michael Jackson remained at the top of the billboards for pure R&B, sexy videos, high-energy dances, entertaining concerts, and fights for injustice. Janet released her fourth album, Control, when she gained her independence. Her producers, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, made sure it shot to the top of the charts with the hot beats and her funk and R&B sexy sound. Janet also did albums such as her self-titled album, Janet, Velvet Rope, 20YO, Demita Joe, All For You, and more. Her concerts are phenomenal, and I had the joy of seeing her at the State of the World concert in Detroit. I think I did the whole routine in my chair. That was my stuff. If I was your girl, things I do to you make it cold. See how I did the little Michael in there too? Janet and Michael, she paid tribute to Michael. It was dope. Yeah, anyway, I love Janet and love Michael. You know, they're doing that thing. Janet is a whole vibe. So I took my sister to her concert and she was very sick, but she said if she died that night, she knew that she had the time of her life. You know what? I had time in my life as well. The Janet has also been doing film since she was a little girl and we thank you so much she was penny on good times she was in different strokes as willis's girlfriend she was also in the uh show fame with debbie allen she did so many great things i remember her being penny like mama <laughs> i love that you know she is dope and she was also in some great films such as why did i get married one and two you know, and which were some emphasis mo infamous movies, and they deserve an Oscar, as well as Janet. And it was made by the infamous, infamous and hilarious producer, director, writer, actor, 
Tyler Perry. Great films. Some of my favorite films. And you know what? Me and Janet might have to fight it out over who's going to play the role to date Rock if they do another film and I'm actually able to be in it. <laughs> but anyway, you know, I'm in love with my celebrity crush, Marlon Wayans. And that goes G-W-O-S goes without saying. That's my new phrase that I use. G-W-O-S goes without saying. So we love you, Janet. Keep doing your thing. And in other news, the king of comedy, one of the goats of comedy and film, Martin Lawrence got his start on, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Martin has been in the entertainment business since 1987. He started out in films like House Party and he was hilarious. And he hosted the Russell Simmons Deaf Comedy Jam for years. And I learned to host comedy shows as well by watching Martin and making, you know, seeing how Martin would quickly hit a punchline, have everybody laughing. It was hella funny, as he would say. And Martin went on to do some of our favorite films, such as Big Mama's House with Nia Long and then with Brandon T. Jackson and Nia and Big Mama's House 2. He starred in the hilarious film Life with you know, some of the kings and goats, Eddie Murphy and Bernie Mac, kings of comedy, goats as well. He also starred the starred in the hilarious film, Welcome Home, Roscoe Dinkins. Was my, that was my movie as well. That was my stuff. And he starred alongside Michael Epps, the funny comedian Michael Epps. An actor and Cedric the Entertainer, who was funny as well, and Nicole Ari Parker did her thing, and Monique as well. They were hilarious. Great film, one of my favorite films. And Martin is mostly known for his longtime running TV show title, My My And then the Shenanigans voice, You're so crazy. <laughs> we love that. And then Tisha, T -Tish, Tisha Campbell played his girlfriend Gina, who was hilarious as well. They would go back and forth and stuff like that. And Gina would be like, my We love that. That was dope. And then Tashina Arnold would joke back and forth and roast Martin. And he would roast her as well. It was hilarious. And then there was Cole Brown, who, who played Cole, who was like the funny, quirky friend. And then Thomas Ford played Tommy, who was like never employed. It was really funny. And you know what? Martin vowed to keep America laughing. So there was Atheon Crockett that did an interview and brought them back in a reunion to ask about them doing a reboot, which America wants. You know, we want the reboot, you know, and they're good licking. I've seen them. They could pull it off, you know, um, and Martin would do like different roles. And I wonder if Shanae wasn't Shanae was kind of like a to pay uh, accolades or tribute to his wife. Because I think his wife, wife's name is like Shamika or something. And then, you know, Shanae, they both have S-H-A on the beginning. I don't know. Conquire minds want to know. So, I don't know. He would do Shanae's voice. And he'd be like, really, Jada? You gonna come in here and get your hair done? I don't sit people in a chair that don't have money, Jada. So that was really funny. We loved the Shanae role. And he did other roles such as King Bean. I would love to make love to you all. But first, I must dance. <clears throat> and then he did the security guard sliding around all the time. Ugh. I don't know what y'all think y'all doing in here. But y'all can't be banned in here with all this shenanigans going on. Y'all gonna have to pay. To come in my living room. <laughs> the water. <laughs> I'm the security. That's dope. And then he did Jerome. Jerome in the hair. Jerome in the hair. In the hair. In the hair. And he did Larocco. <laughs> yeah, I just can't be saying <laughs> So, Martin is hilarious. And you know what? They may have to do some modifications since, you know, over 40, you don't jump on the floor. You get on the flow. <laughs> I know that from experience. You get on the flow. So we definitely want to see another Martin reboot. And, you know, I think that it's going to be all right. You know, because if they could do a Bad Boys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 52 <laughs> with Will Smith, Martin, and Gabriel Union, they definitely can do another Martin. So we love you. And also... 
the neighbor that always come through the window and steal a sandwich. We still don't know who he is, so I'm not about to try to figure it out. <laughs> all right. So make sure you binge watch all of the Martin shows and all his films. I'm Lonnie Haddon with the Hip Hop 3D News.